and one was Ida. But it's a deceased spouse. All right, so we could start her on her deceased spouse here, but we don't have to touch her own number line. And now she's waiting and waiting. What's happening to her own benefit? Wow. Growing and growing and growing. And what our rep looked at, and I peeked at the record for her too, because the rep said to her, Vicki, when you're 69 and six months, guess what? Your own is going to be more. And Vicki was like, are you kidding me? Because she does not have like a, she's had lower work. But it's because she's adding on. You know what I'm saying? She's boosting. And we do monitor that and we do track that. We send annual letters to our widows and widowers about that one. All right, so there is a possibility. But it also could be that you never know. Because I've, I've seen some folks where they're never going to get more on a deceased spouse. You know, that your own is always going to be more. So that brings me back to Donna's question. Would somebody that has a state teacher spouse, you know what I mean, if my husband's a state teacher? Because I told you my Ed's and Sir's. Will he ever get to draw on me, right? And it, it's a big maybe, okay? That's a maybe. It's always a guarantee on your own record. And if Ed had his 40 credits, he's just like too shy. And I'm going to make him earn those credits. That's right. I told him to go flip some burgers. That's someday. right. I'm going to make him earn it. Because if you get 40, then you're guaranteed something, okay? But there's not a guarantee on a spouse, my friends. Okay, and that same goes for state teachers. And we're something called offset. And that means that we use, we look at the amount of the public pension the person's getting, and we use that to reduce the Social Security. So I'm not going to go into a whole bunch on that. We'll, we'll save that for another day. If I have my and I lose my Social Security,